This is Mrs. Appia, Lesson 9, Module 2, Applying the Properties of Operations to Add and Subtract Rational Numbers. Student Outcomes for this lesson. Students use properties of operations to add and subtract rational numbers without the use of a calculator. Students recognize that any problem involving addition and subtraction of rational numbers can be written as a problem using addition and subtraction of positive numbers only. Students use the commutative and associative properties of addition to rewrite numerical expressions in different forms. They know that the opposite of a sum is the sum of the opposites. For example, subtracting the quantity 3 minus 4 is equivalent to negative 3 plus 4. Exercise 1. Unscramble the cards and show the steps in the correct order to arrive at the solution to 5 and 2 ninths minus the quantity 8.1 plus 5 and 2 ninths. So our first step is to rewrite this subtraction as adding the opposite. Remember that the opposite of a sum is the sum of its opposites. So we have 5 and 2 ninths, and we are going to add the opposite. So what we want to do is we want to add the opposite of both of those terms. The opposite of 8.1 is negative 8.1, and the opposite of 5 and 2 ninths is negative 5 and 2 ninths. So that's our first step. The opposite of a sum is the sum of its opposites and that is using up our first card. For our second card, we have two choices, and notice that the 5 and 2 ninths is the first term in both of these cards, and in this card, we have negative 5 and 2 ninths plus negative 8.1, which is the opposite order of what it was in, and here we have the 5 and 2 ninths with the the negative with the positive. So here they have switched the order and then here they have switched the grouping. So our next step is to switch the order and that is the commutative property. So what we're going to do is we'll bring down the 5 and 2 ninths and we're going to switch the order with the negative 5 and 2 ninths first and the 8.1 second. And the commutative property of addition says that you can change the order of the add-ends without changing the answer. So that takes care of our second card. Our next card, uh, notice what has happened. They have regrouped the parentheses, and instead of being around the second two terms, they are now around the first two terms. And that is our associative property of addition that says in an addition problem you can regroup the problem to change the order of the add-ins or change the grouping. So we're going to put the positive 5 and 2 ninths with the negative 5 and 2 ninths and we'll group those together and then add the negative 8.1. And the purpose for doing that is because we have a positive and a negative that are opposites, and we know that they will have a sum of zero. So a number plus its opposite equals zero, and now we have zero plus negative 8.1, and that property is additive identity, which says that when you add zero to a number, it is the number itself. And so the number, the answer is negative 8.1. So our first step was changing the opposite of a sum is the sum of its opposites. The second step was the commutative property, where we changed the order of those two add-ends. Then the associative property, which changed the parentheses from the second two terms to the first two terms. And then we combined the opposites to get 0, and then we added 0 to get negative 8.1, and that is our solution. In our next example, represent each of the following expressions as one rational number. That means to find your solution. Show and explain your steps. So in problem one, we notice that we are subtracting a quantity, and we want to subtract the 4 and 4 sevenths, and we want to subtract the 
minus 10. So our first step is going to rewrite. Remember that subtracting a number is the same as adding its inverse. So we'll bring down the 4 and 4 sevenths. And we're going to rewrite this part of the problem. Subtracting a number is the same as adding its opposite. So we're going to add a negative 10. Our next step is the opposite of a sum is the sum of its opposites. So we've got the opposite of the sum is the sum of its opposites. So we'll use the opposite of 4 and 4 sevenths, which is negative 4 and 4 sevenths, plus the opposite of negative 10 is positive 10. Bring down the 4 and 4 sevenths. So we did the opposite of the sum is the sum of its opposites. Next, the associative property of addition that says that you can change the order or change the grouping of the problem and the answer will remain correct. So we're going to regroup this problem because we notice that we have a positive number and a negative that are opposites and we know that they will have a sum of zero. So we're going to regroup th those together. 4 and 4 sevenths plus negative 4 and 4 sevenths plus 10. Then we know that a number plus its opposite equals zero. And then we can use the additive identity to finish the problem that says anytime you add zero to a number, you get the number itself. And so the solution to this problem is 10. In example two, five plus the quantity negative four and four sevenths. A mixed number, 4 and 4 sevenths, is equivalent to 4 plus 4 sevenths. So we'll rewrite that. We've got 5 plus negative quantity, 4 plus 4 sevenths. Then we know that the opposite of a sum is the sum of its opposites. So we'll rewrite that. This is the opposite and this is the sum. So we'll rewrite that as the sum of its opposites. So we bring the 5 down plus the opposite of positive 4 is negative 4. And the opposite of 4 sevenths is negative 4 sevenths. Next, the associative property of addition. The associative property says that we can regroup our numbers or regroup our add-ins. So we are going to regroup the whole numbers together. We'll put the 5 plus the negative 4 together plus the negative 4 and sevenths. Then we know that 5 plus negative 4 equals 1. And we know that 1 is equal to 7 sevenths, so we'll replace the 1 with 7 sevenths so that we can subtract 4 sevenths, and the answer is 3 sevenths. The solution is 3 sevenths. Pause the video to try example A, and then resume the video when you're ready to check it. Rewrite subtraction as adding the opposite. Regroup and put the 5.2 positive with the negative. A sum of a number and its opposite equals 0, and the answer is 3.1. Pause the video and pro try problem B. A mixed number is the sum of the number and the fraction. Regroup your problem to put the whole numbers together. Then subtract 32 and 12 and get 20. And subtract 7 eighths and the answer is 19 and 1 eighth. 
pause the video and try problem C. Subtracting a negative means adding an opposite or adding a positive. Rewrite your problem, putting your fractions together. That's the associative property. 8 and 6 sixths is equal to 9. And combine your numbers to get your final answer of 29.3. Pause the video and try problem D. Minus a negative means plus a positive. Subtracting means adding a negative. Regroup your numbers using the associative property. Put your fractions together. Rewrite with common denominators. A number and its opposite equals 0. And 0 plus 1.8, that's the additive identity. And the answer is 1.8. Exercise 3. Explain step by step how to arrive at a single rational number to represent the following expression. Show both a written explanation and the related math work for each step. Negative 24 minus negative half minus 12.5. First, subtracting a half is the same as adding the inverse. So we've got negative 24 instead of subtracting a negative we are adding a positive, minus 12.5. Next, use the commutative property of addition to rewrite the expression, putting the fraction at the end of the problem and 12.5 in the middle. Negative 24 minus 12.5 plus 1 half. Next, add the negative numbers. Subtracting means adding the opposite. So this gives us negative 26.5 plus 1 half. Next, write half in decimal form. Negative 26.5 plus 0.5. Last, add negative 36.5 to 0 0.5. And I just realized my mistake, so I'll go back and fix that. This uh, right here should be 36.5 and 36.5. And so we have a final answer of negative 36. So these are opposite signs, so you subtract, and that gives you 36, and you had more negatives, so the answer is negative. And so the answer is negative 36. In this lesson, you have learned, use the properties of operations to add and subtract rational numbers more efficiently. For instance, negative 5 and 2 ninths plus 3.7 plus 5 and 2 ninths. We see that we have opposites here. And so we can regroup an addition to put the positive and negative together to get zero, making the problem easier to solve. Also, the opposite of a sum is the sum of its opposite, as shown in, these, in the examples that follow. The 4 and 4 sevenths is a sum of 4 plus 4 sevenths. So the opposite of that sum is the sum of its opposites. The opposite of positive 4 is negative 4. The opposite of 4 sevenths is negative 4 sevenths. And the opposite of 5 plus 3 is equal to the opposite of 5 plus the opposite of 3.